man who spent years inside a psychiatric institution following a deadly Massachusetts school shooting in the early 1990s was back in court today. A dangerousness hearing was held for David Tabor. Last week, he allegedly assaulted his 88-year-old father, then rammed a police cruiser to get away from officers in a Kushnet. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen was at a court uh, was at today, at court for today's hearing and has more from our control room now. Steve. Well, after hearing testimony today from David Tabor's father and also officers who arrested him, the judge ruled that Tabor is dangerous and he will be held until his trial. 66-year-old Tabor is accused of assaulting his 88-year-old father, leaving him badly bruised. When doctors reported the elderly man's injuries to police, prosecutors say Tabor tried to flee, driving over the grass of a Lake Avenue home, smashing into a police cruiser, leaving his SUV badly damaged, and two officers with minor injuries. Now, you might remember Tabor looking more like this in the early 1990s. He was accused of shooting and killing a school nurse. He was found not guilty by reason of insanity, but he served time for other charges. District Attorney Thomas Quinn was actually the prosecutor on that case more than two decades ago, and he chose to step in as the prosecutor at today's hearing. This is a, a, a case, one of the most serious cases in Bristol County history. Uh, these two cases, the Damathai case, were some of the first cases involving the school violence, uh, and it's had a tremendous impact on the Kushnet community and a lot of people. So uh, I came down to do the hearing, and I'm glad I did. Pleased with the judge's finding that he was dangerous and holding him without bail. It's appropriate under all the circumstances, the past case and what he did in this case. Again, Tabor is being held with, uh, excuse me, without bail until the trial, and Quinn said he may stay with this case and prosecute it himself at trial. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.